Hey there, this is Alan. I'm going to do a little video. I don't know if a couple of people have been asking me about how I make springs for pop-up dethermalizer, um, biscuits button damper timers, and uh, so I thought I'd put a little video together. This is basically the setup. Here I have a, a 764 drill bit, and that is my winding mandrel mounted into a piece of half-inch ply, and this is my winding tube, which is a piece of 532nds brass tubing, and on it you have a little nib that I filed out. I don't know if you could see it close up. I'll take a picture of it and post it. But there's just a little bit of a, a end left on there that's going to be used to grab the wire. So, first thing to do is I have 36 inches worth of 009 music wire. I'm going to bend a little L in it, stick it into this hole right here, and that's going to hold it while I'm winding because unfortunately God did not bless me with four hands. Sometimes you can really use that in this hobby. Just to put a piece of tape down to hold it in and have it run adjacent to the mandrel. Now I'm going to take my, only because I'm lazy, my winding tube and chuck it into a little, into a little hand drill. Now, I'm going to take that little nib and kind of just catch it, catch the end of the wire on it, and then start to start to wind. You got to kind of lift it off the base so you don't catch the the permanent wire that's mounted under the tape around on the second turn. But once you start doing this, it'll start to raise off, as you can see and it gives you plenty of clearance. Don't do it too fast otherwise the the slack wire or the extra wire that's not wound yet will wound all the way around your drill and you have a bad a bad time. So just wind and wind like that. Come on, let go. There we go. And just let it wind around. 36 inches uh, in this particular setup is good for about a hundred plus turns which I find gives me a pretty good spring. You want to have quite a long moment on the spring where you can stretch it for a good inch and a half without the pull changing that much. That gives you the most consistent pull around your whether you're using a silly putty timer or a viscous button timer or whatever else you want to use for your timing mechanism. And as I get close to the end here, I'm just going to let it finish off. And then grab the wire so it doesn't go boing. Release the, the drill. Come on, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. And just a little, get some pressure off of it. Oh, come on now. Be nice, there we go. Like that, that, and we let the spring spring. Pull it off. And now we have a nice little spring. And we just clip the ends off, clip that end off, grab a couple of turns with a nice pair of needle nose pliers, just bend it up. You want to get a couple of turns so you don't lose your DT and have to retie it by unthreading. And there you go. Nice little nice little spring. Uh, one thing that's important I forgot to mention, the reason I use this size mandrel and this size tube is there's just enough clearance inside here for the wire. Uh, for the O, oh, this is a uh, .109 inch mandrel plus the 009 wire times two gives me about a 127 um, 
OD that fits right into the ID of this piece of 532nd inch tubing and keeps everything nice and tight. You got to keep it tight or it will unwind itself right on the inside. And uh, that's it. Any questions? Shoot me an email.